Hello everyone, this is RVer Frank having some RV fun. I've got a new project lined up that I'd like to show. I'm going to do an unboxing of this uh, TV uh, wall mount with the uh, extended arm the swing arm that comes out. By the way, I got it from Jetbox. Now this is a more ride. It's rated for 25 pound capacity. It has a tilt and swivel adjustment. It looks like a pretty beefy uh, mount here. Obviously uh, what I'm looking for is that it locks uh, for safe travel and that's that feature right there two pieces of one by six these are actually dimensioned at uh, five and a half inches so this is a 11 inch wide piece of wood so this is uh, will be screwed each plank will be screwed in at each side I will not be putting glue in the event I need to pull that off of there and so I'll go ahead and assemble this these two pieces together and then I'll apply the wall mount I went ahead and mounted the uh, with the bracket to the uh, uprights that were pre-existing for my earlier modification. So I'll go ahead and slip the uh, bolt right in here. So it should be a one-person operation. That bolt will go right through here. So I'll go ahead and install this into the pre-existing uh, amounts that I had before or been here. So we'll go ahead and do that. Some details for those who may be uh, considering this as a mod to their RV. Uh, here's the two screws that will go through into there. And so that's hanging off of this very strong uh, cabinet. And the sheer strength on these screws is going to retain that in place uh, with any downward force. Then I've got two screws here going into the valance, and there'll be a back a backing here for those to screw in. And again, this this valance by itself is a, is a one by in there mounted to the wall, and then. There's probably a quarter inch uh, of masonite in here that again will carry the weight of that TV. Now this is rated at 25 pounds. I would estimate that this TV with, with the mount uh, may be approaching oh, eight or nine pounds. So we'll go ahead and Screw these uh, points in here and uh, get that TV mounted. Now with the articulation of this swing arm, it's an 18 inch uh, actual uh, movement out. Uh, I'm going to need some longer coax. Came with the gray, put a six foot uh, white one in there. and. Since the uh, mounting is going to come across, uh, I don't want to uh, screw that coax directly in there, so I'm going to put this 90 in there and have it come up. That will relieve any stress on that coax. Slide this in the uh, mounting uh, interface here and slip that bolt down. That's not so hard, but you also at the same time need to slip these little nylon um, 
washers in there which which give it some uh, vibration light smoothness in the uh, movement of that arm okay here's the TV swung out into a position where uh, when the front uh, seats passenger and driver are turned around this is the uh, view uh, that you get of course there's reflection <laughs> but um, I really like this uh, placement for the passenger this is the view from the driver side when um, the slide is out and the seat is turned around in the final wiring of this uh, coax there's the 90 and it comes across to the power and then I have this uh, flex conduit the flex conduit enables both of the uh, coax and power cord to be captured into one single cable I also applied a rubber pad here this is a stock one a rubber pad here this extra pad I put in and what that does is uh, provides a little more secure mounting so that it's not going to rattle uh, back and forth while driving so with those rubber pads that I added it enables this uh, this locking mechanism here to be a little more a little more solid placement so that's not going to rattle there's not going to be any rattling on that so that wraps up this project upgrade perhaps this is an application uh, for your RV Anyway, thanks for watching.